Hello everyone, this is Genesis on Live3 TV. It's my great honor to share with you Captain Udekar's writing titled The Conception Vessel and The Governor Vessel. Have you ever experienced any mystical or supernatural phenomenon during your spiritual discipline or prayer? Today's topic is about the special meridian system in our body which enables you to have such an experience. Let me get started. The 12 meridian roots are called the main meridian roots. The circulation through the 12 meridian roots is called the circulation of Yonggi. The conception vessel and the governor vessel belong to the extraordinary meridians, or these two meridian roots belong to the eight extraordinary or homeostatic meridian roots composed of eight meridian roots. The circulation through the conception vessel begins from Hae Um and reaches Seung Jang along the ventral medial line of the human body. The root of the conception vessel extends from Seung Jang, goes inside the mouth, passes through the pharyngeal tonsil, and is continued to Dan Jeon. The secretion through the governor vessel starts from Hae Um passes through Okchim Gwan and Baekhwe along the median line of the spine of the body and arrives at Injung. The governor vessel extended from Injung enters inside the mouth, goes through the pharyngeal tonsil and reaches Danjeon. Thus, the conception vessel and the governor vessel join inside the mouth through their extended meridian roots and then pass through the larynx of the throat, reaching Danjeon. This merged meridian root is at least three times thicker than the 12 main meridian roots. Through this thick root, all the eight extraordinary meridian roots and the 12 main meridian roots are connected to Danjeon. The conception vessel and the governor vessel have two layered cylindrical structures. The energy flows through the inner root. The magnetic field runs through the outer pass. The radii of conception vessel and governor vessel are three times greater than those of the 12 main meridians. The energy source that enables the circulation through the CV and the GV come from the VG large meridian root and the BG large meridian root both of which are connected to Hae Um. The VG large meridian and BG large meridian are two times thicker than conception vessel and governor vessel, and six times thicker than the 12 main meridians. Here let me give you a supplementary explanation. The VG large meridian is a special meridian root related to the energy circulation among the stomach, the river, and the kidneys, whereas BG large meridian is another special meridian root. Those who have their spiritual eyes activated can see the conception vessel and VG large meridian emits red light, and the governor vessel and BG large meridian radiate blue light. The secretions through the CV and GV are far faster than those through the 12 main meridians which means the CV and GV are more powerful. If the circulation of Yonggi through the 12 main meridian roots is compared to a subtle movement of fog, the circulation through the eight extraordinary meridians can be likened to the water fiercely discharged from a dam. Among the eight extraordinary meridians, Conception vessel and governor vessel are the only meridian roots that have their acupoints known to the public through oriental medicine. The conception vessel and governor vessel play the pivotal roles in the circulation through the eight extraordinary or homeostatic meridians and work as important clues to healing terminal illness. 
The circulation through the CV and the GV are powered by the intangible energy amplification device located at Heum, which amplifies the energy provided by Ridge Large Meridian and BG Large Meridian. The Heum is not only an important occupant used to diagnose and cure disease, but also the center of the circulation through the eight extraordinary meridians. Along the conception vessel, the 12 emotion cords governing the emotion of Homo sapiens exist apart from acupoints. Human beings can express various kinds of energy called emotions through these emotion cords. A variety of emotions such as hatred, sadness, love, envy, jealousy, fear, and dread are types of energy with different wavelengths in nature. In fact, all the human emotions are created through the combinational works of the 12 emotion cores so that various emotions can be implemented as if occurring by coincidence. A person can feel and sympathize with a specific emotion even without first-hand experience, if his higher self intentionally manipulates his emotion cause. In the human body, the 12 emotion cause and the 7 consciousness cause are located along the conceptual vessel and the governor vessel, respectively, in a way that these cores do not crash with the acupoints of CV and GV. Their special arrangement is underpinned by the principle of creating spaces within spaces, meaning interdimensional spaces, through the cosmic engineering technology of the heaven. The 12 emotion cores and the 7 consciousness cores are connected with the metahumanoid consciousness implementation system located in the Shim pole meaning the invisible pericardium. The implementation of consciousness by a life form is a highly sophisticated mental activity manifested by both the emotion cause and the consciousness cause being integrated in the meta-consciousness implementation system. Indeed, sophisticated, I write invisible, Mechanical devices are essential for this elaborate mental activity. After the Earth's dimensional ascension, the existing human beings, Homo sapiens, will be replaced by Homo aratus. This race is more evolved than Homo sapiens and has 15 emotion cores and 9 consciousness cores. Accordingly, this species of people will be able to feel or experience a broad spectrum of emotions, embody higher consciousness, and create more sophisticated, complex, and delicate things. For constructing a new spiritual civilization, an upgraded model of human beings who can implement much higher consciousness is indispensable. Homo aratus, that is the future human species, is the latest humanoid model. Just as new wine should be poured into new wine skins, the species of Homo sapiens that will survive during the process of the Earth's dimensional ascension will gradually become extinct. And at the same time, a new species, Homo aratus, will take the place of Homo sapiens on a new Earth. Aside from the seven consciousness cores of Homo sapiens, on the governor vessel are the firing three main gates, through which the energies of Chong, Ki, or Shin pass. Firstly, medial gate is located in the tailbone, the coccyx. It serves as the main route for supplying the energies of Chong, Ki, Shin to the reproductive organs thus related to sexual desire. Secondly, Nong-no gate is located in the interdimensional space 
Neo Young Day and is associated with the functions and disease of internal organ. Thirdly, Okchim Gate is located in the occipital region of the brain. It influences the function of the brain, thus associated with intelligence, and is one of the major targets of the energy ceiling in the brain. Through these three main gates on the governor vessel, the energies of Jonggi Shin can also be supplied to major internal organs, meaning five viscera and six entrails, in addition to the aforementioned brain and um, which are known as Gihang Ji Bu, meaning some special organs such as the brain and the um, not included in the five viscera and six entrails. However, the three main gates in the governor vessel only have the auxiliary role in supplying the energies of Zhong Gi Xin to these organs, whereas the 12 main meridian roots play the key role in providing these energies for the internal organs. The acupoints in conception vessel and governor vessel have a critical role in treating incurable diseases. So the therapeutic effect can be maximized by performing acupuncture and meridian chakra mediated healing simultaneously. In addition, there are seven great chakras in the interdimensional space located along the meridian roots of conception vessel and governor vessel. The seven great chakras are as follows. Along the governor vessel, there are two great chakras, the Bekwe chakra, alternatively called the crown chakra and the indang chakra or the third eye chakra. Along the conception vessel, there are five great chakras, the siro chakra, the heart chakra, the spleen chakra, the tanjon chakra, and the hweum chakra. For the healing of terminal illnesses and incurable diseases, the seven great chakras should be enlightened by the heaven. And at the same time, both conception vessel and governor vessel should be fully activated. You should be aware that the chakra system can't be opened or activated by human efforts or human abilities. It is only the will of the heaven that makes this possible. Some people who are immersed in the matrices of prayers and spiritual practices would argue that they have completed their soju chan by activating both conception vessel and governor vessel. They would boast of their mystical and esoteric experiences as evidence for the completion of their soju chan. However, this is far from the truth. Those mystical experiences they had are just the phenomenon that occurred to them when some of the seven great chakras were temporarily enlightened or the situation in which they felt some of the energies flowing from their emotion cause and consciousness cause that have been manipulated. Behind their experiences, the immutable hands of the heaven and their higher selves have worked so hard to make such mystical and supernatural phenomena happen to them as if by coincidence during their spiritual disciplines or their prayers. All of these are carried out to maintain and manage the matrices of spiritual practice and religions and to satisfy the egos of those who want to believe so. The governor vessel and the conception vessel are the subject matter with the dreadful pitfall that the matrices of the spiritual practices and prayers have, in which spiritual practitioners and religious people are exposed to the mystical experiences related to Soju Chan. After having mysterious experiences, many spiritual practitioners and religious people have insisted that they have had their conception vessel and governor vessel enlightened 
without any objective evidence. The system of conception baths and governor baths can't be activated fully without the will of the heaven. For the last 2.5 million years, there have been only dozens of people with conception baths and governor baths fully activated. Furthermore, they are just those who have been invited to pray their laws in the heavens programs, laboratory planned, and undertaken to install and manage the matrices of prayers and spiritual disciplines. Human beings are inclined to be locked in their experiences, in their own paradigms of consciousness, and in their own belief and faith. Once they encounter special and spiritual events or energies from the invisible world, they tend to misinterpret and exaggerate their situation by thinking that the heaven moved by their sincere efforts and endurance has presented them special gifts. Then they believe that they have achieved spiritual enlightenment and become special beings in the universe, ascended masters or Taoist masters, and behave as such. This is a typical example reflecting one aspect of human nature. At the center of the culture of prayers and spiritual practices, there is a lack of knowledge about conception battle and governor battle. And there are also ignorance and fantasy about the Soju Chun and Teju Chun. Nothing goes wrong in this universe. This is because such things are good evidence demonstrating that the matrices of prayers and spiritual practices installed for the spirit souls to experience the material world work perfectly fitting the level of the human consciousness. I wish all the best for humankind. July 21st, 2017, Udeka wrote, translated by Genesis. Thank you so much for listening. See you next Thursday.